What is up YouTube, I'm Royal, I'm Rank Wine Wild Drift and in this video I'll show you exactly why I believe Master Yi is the strongest champion in the game. You heard me right, not just the best jungler, not just god tier, the best champion in the game. Let's look at the changes that they made to Master Yi in the patch notes. So first of all, his second ability now blocks 90% of damage for the first 0.5 seconds, making him pretty much immune to damage for 0.5 seconds, and it resets to 90% instead of 70% with your ultimate whenever you get a kill or assist. It now resets to 90%, other abilities 70%. They also make, made his third ability an auto attack reset. So both his second ability and his third ability are now auto attack resets. So you can do auto attack third ability and yes, I can auto attack. What you can also do is auto attack second ability auto attack. So you can cancel your auto attack twice. So you can do some OP combos like first ability, auto attack third ability, second ability, auto attack. And not only are you getting a bunch of damage in, you're also blocking damage for 0.5 seconds when you use your second ability because most of the time skilled Master E players will auto attack second ability auto attack right so they're only gonna use their second ability for the first 0.5 seconds anyway here I, I'm not getting it too consistently because it's hard to do right it's not an easy combo to use your first ability second ability and then auto attack again to consistently get the reset, but this is the new Master Yi combo, right? First ability, all attack, third ability, all attack, second ability, all attack. And you also proc your passive with this combo. It's so broken. I'm gonna jump right into the build because they added a new item that's really broken on him. And they've also buffed the Blade of the Ruined King, which is his core item. And then we'll jump straight into some gameplay. So looking at the build, you're always gonna wanna rush Blade of the Ruined King. They buffed it, giving it slightly more damage uh, on every auto attack, giving you more physical vamp, and also they buffed the drain passive. Now you're gonna be stealing 40% movement speed. So once you proc it, you can already start chasing down enemies super quickly, which is very valuable for Master Yi. And of course, on top of that, you're actually losing 10 to 100 base HP, which does suck, but this is overall a good buff for his early game. Then you're gonna take your boots, which you're not gonna go damage boots, you're gonna go plated steel caps or Mercury Treads. I think Damage Boots are an okay option going Berserker Greaves. However, these Tank Boots will allow you to stack your lethal tempo since you live longer and do more damage in the long run. And then, of course, you're gonna be picking up Terminus, the new item, which every all attack is gonna give you Armor Pen and Magic Pen, which is actually super valuable since w Terminus does magic damage on hit and Whitsense does magic damage on hit. So you're gonna be doing a lot of magic damage on Master Yi, so the magic penetration is actually really good. And then on top of that, you're also gonna be getting armor and magic resist, making you super tanky, so you can just run through the enemy team, and you'll see in the gameplay that I'll show right after how I was able to do that. Then of course, you're gonna go Witsense, get more magic resist, right? It pairs up nicely when you go play it Steel Caps, which is gonna be your main boot choice. So now you get both armor, magic resist, you get some HP from the played Steel Caps. And then for your last items, you have the options between Death Dance, if the enemies are very heavy AD. However, you can also definitely go for a more defensive option, getting more HP. I actually think Ruin Steric's Cage might be decent on him, even though you, the five movements that you lose is not awesome. However, the Tenacity is gonna be super useful. So I think Steric's Cage is still a good option on him. I think Spear of Sojourn is a good option. I think Edge of Night is a good option. And I also think Divine Thunder is a good option. So any of those items can replace your last two Destin's Guardian Angel, even though I think Guardian Angel as the last item is probably gonna give you the most value. When it comes to your boot enchant, you're pretty much always gonna be going for... Excuse me. You're pretty much always gonna be going for the Quicksilver. However, I can see some arguments for Stasis as well. For your runes, you're pretty much always gonna be going Lethal Tempo. Uh, the new rune empowerment is not very good on Master Yi. Lethal Tempo is definitely the way to go. Then you're gonna take Brutal, Giant Slayer, Coupe de Grasse and Last Stand are fine if the enemies don't have a lot of HP stacking champions. However, Giant Slayer will be most valuable most of the time. Then you're gonna, then you're gonna take Alacrity. Uh, Legend Tenacity is also fine if the enemies just have a bunch of CC. You don't care about the slow resist because you, while on your ultimate you can't be slowed. However, if they have a lot of CC, Tenacity is fine. 
And then for your last rune, you can either go bone plating if you want to focus in the early game. But if you just want to farm and do nothing, you can definitely go for overgrowth. And again, if the enemies have a lot of CC, perseverance or onslaught are also really good choices. Now let's jump straight into the gameplay. So I'm actually playing in the last day of the season. So people are tryharding. It's a new patch. People are exploring, but they're also tryharding to get to that Grandmaster, get to that Challenger, depending on where they are. I'm probably going to be finishing off the Season Master tier. However, next season, I spent a lot of time this season playing in China, right? So I didn't have a lot of time to grind on my NA account. But next season, I'm definitely going to be aiming to get top 10 in uh, the NA server. I don't know if we'll go for rank 1 because you just need to grind way too many games, but I'm probably going to be going for at least top 10. So this is the typical clear that you're going to be doing with Master Yi. You're going to start with your first ability, since that's definitely the fastest way to clear your jungle. And you're just going to be doing a regular clear, right? The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that now you want to be using your third ability as an auto attack reset when you clear your jungle, so you can optimally clear it as fast as possible. Of course, Master Yi is one of those champions that you want to just full clear your jungle. You don't want to be looking for any early game plays. However, his cuddle fighting is a lot stronger now because of his uh, double resets on his third ability and his second ability. So you can see me use my third ability right there for no attack reset. And throughout your jungle clear, you want to be doing that. Oh, my mid laner is struggling already. He, he probably needs to base. Yeah, Action is playing with the new rune empower, empowerment. Press the attack, whatever you want to call it, which I actually think is really good on Action and Lucian, probably. However, it still seems a little underwhelming compared to what we had before, Kraken Slayer. And now you can see me again using my third ability as a reset. Oh, I'm kind of failing my auto attacks for some reason. There we go. Oh, there's actually... Riven is really low HP, so I'm just going to drop my camps and just immediately run to Riven. Maybe I can pick up first blood. Oh, never mind. She flashed away. We get her flash. Fortunately, Garen flashed. Okay, Vi is here. And she's actually a level ahead of me because she already has both her buffs. So I'm going to do Scuttle to get level 4. And then I'm going to go on her. Oh, never mind. She's actually here. But we win these. We, we use the order deck reset to make sure that we secure the Scuttle Crab. Oh, and this is just such an easy fight. Flash after her. We have our stack lethal tempo. Oh, this guy's full HP, but I think we beat him. Using the double order deck reset. That's exactly what's making Master Yi so OP. Exactly what I'm talking about. I was able to use my third ability reset and then my second ability reset to get three quick all attacks on him and just one shot him from half HP. This is exactly why I right now think that Master Yi is the strongest champion in the game. That fight exactly pinpointed why Master Yi is so strong. And of course, you guys know Master Yi is not an early game champion, right? He scales. We're looking to destroy them in the late game. So we're going to start building towards our Blade of the Ruined King. We're actually able to get both components right away, which is really good because of our early game lead. So we used our third ability reset to secure the Skull Crab, something we would not have been able to do last patch. We could have easily gone to Vi. But I was able to burst it down with my auto attack reset. And that action kill would have never happened last patch if I wasn't able to get the double auto attack reset and block a bunch of da damage with my second ability. I'm going to look for mid lane action again since I don't think he has flash. I'm just going to pop my ulti and go after him. Chase him down with my first ability and I think I can just dive. Again, using the resets, using the third ability and second ability resets, I'm able to dodge a lot of damage and quickly one-shot him. Now, since Vi was on the bottom side of the map, I'm going to look to steal some of her camps. The red buff spawns in 15 seconds, so I'm definitely going to base and not stick around for that. Going to pick up my Ruin Blade of the Ruined King, which is, of course, the new buffed item. And we're just going to immediately go and get our red buff and keep clearing our jungle. Super important, Master Yi, you need to be clearing your jungle. You, you should never be stopping. You should always be clearing your jungle. There we go. Okay, there's a little fight happening bot lane. Never mind. I can't really gank bot lane because it's 
Brand and Zeri, right? They don't really have any good setup for me. And Master Yi is a champion that doesn't really have setup on his own. He has a gap closer, but no CC. So I need a setup champion. Like Ari is probably the best champion for me to play around. He's getting ganked. I'm not going to go in here since Garen flashed out and he's low HP. Oh, good charm by the Ari. Oh, and now we can continue chasing. We can get the Riven too. Oh, unfortunately, she gets the Ari. And I saw Vigo somewhere here. Maybe she's on her Krugs. And I still have my ultimate up. Okay, I'm going to go around. Oh, she's basing. Get the oil attack reset. Follow her. Use my first ability. And she's gone. Second ability block the damage. I just blocked that entire turret shot. No, he's so busted, man. Master Yi is so busted. Like, I've never been one to be like, oh, this champion is broken. But Master Yi is broken right now. So if you want to get some free LP this patch, some free wins on the next season, I'm going to be surprised if he doesn't get hotfixed, honestly. Because he's also, I guess he's not an easy champion to play anymore because the auto deck resets are not easy to do consistently. However, Master Yi is one of the easier champions. I guess now he's one of the hardest champions because of this mechanic. So we're again going to secure Rift Herald and I'm going to immediately drop it mid while the enemy team is on... Actually, are they on Dragon? Maybe it's Vi by herself, but the enemy duel and has not started it. No, she's mid. I'm going to go and start oiling the turret so we can take the turret down. And then I can immediately focus the Vi. I'm actually really low HP. There we go. But again, I can use my second ability as a reset to also dodge heroic like, damage pretty much. And we just secure another kill. And I'm going to steal her entire jungle. And she didn't even take Dragon. Dragon is still up for grabs. Okay, I'm going to base her red buff is down, but we stole her Raptors again. And we're start gonna we're gonna start building towards terminus. Perfect. My entire jungle is up on the top side. However, I do kind of want to get the dragon as well. Our bot lane is actually struggling, so this is a close game. We're five zero three. We have a hundred percent kill participation, but this can be a hard game. We're gonna have to try hard here. Oh, she missed that charm. It's unfortunate. Okay, I do really want this dragon, but I'm definitely not just gonna head head in by myself. Especially since Ari doesn't have her ult. So I'm going to go secure the red buff first. It doesn't seem like the enemies are doing it either. So I'm fine just full clearing my jungle. There we go. Actually, we saw Vi topside. Yeah, so we can definitely look to get this dragon now. I'm picking my team. Okay, the okay everyone's here. I'm just going to flash out. Don't want to risk. Okay, now my team is coming and then I can, I can go in. I'm using my second ability to block as much damage as possible. And we're just cleaning up. And that's three more kills for us. I actually only got assists there. I'm 5-0 and 6, but that's fine. We don't mind getting some assists. We're going to secure the dragon. And while the enemies take down the top turret, good play by them, by the way. If the Vi knows she can't fight this, she's like, okay, well, we're going to take something back, right? This is what you guys should be doing as well. If you can't fight, you shouldn't just go to dragon, die for no reason, right? You should be looking to get objectives on the other side of the map like this Vi just did so we'll play to her knowing she's behind and playing around that but we're gonna be able to secure the bot turret and get the dragon this is actually a mistake from the rest of Vi's team if these three if the three opponents didn't like go and int for no reason this would have been a fine trade but now we got three three kills on top of it run brand did i kill him oh no way how broken is action man He's finished his Terminus and he just one shot. That was like 60% of Brand's HP with the ultimate. Okay, I'm going to keep clearing my jungle. Oh, Vice stole my camps. But she's coming straight to me. Perfect. I'm two levels up on her, so it should be easy to pick her off. Maybe I can save the Zeri too. We do save the Zeri. And I think Riven is somewhere here. Oh, he died to the Ezreal ult. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, we clean up the wave. Riven doesn't really want to fight us. There's nothing for us to farm here, and I don't really want to go into the enemy jungle by myself. So I'm just going to base and pick up my Quicksilver. I think Quicksilver is really good this game, since the main CC they have. I haven't really gone a lot of tankiness in my runes, uh, which or a lot of tenacity in my runes, which I think you can do, right? Uh, if you saw my runes before in the build section... I didn't go a lot of tenacity. I You should go tenacity when names have a heavy and a lot of CC, but they don't this game. So there's no point for me to really get a lot of tenacity. However, QSS Quicksilver is really good because you can cancel out the Vi ultimate, which tenacity doesn't do, right? You need Quicksilver for. 
which is a key spell that I need to be avoiding this game. So I'm just going to keep farming. I'm going to keep pressuring the enemy jungle. The Grump actually just spawns. So I'm going to take Grump. My team was actually winning the fight mid lane without me, which is pretty nice. Um, Vi might walk here, actually. I'm just going to make sure this isn't warded, even though they do see the plant. Okay, I'm just going to go immediately on the Seraphine. And I do have my Quicksilver. Okay, she flashes away. I'll use Quicksilver. Vi ults me, but it's too late because she can tell I'm 1v1 me. I have everything stacked using my second ability. Oh no, I trolled. I didn't smite. I got smited and gotten out. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wasn't able to get the Vi. That was a bit of a misplay on my end because I did have smite up. But we're still able to get the Seraphine. And we're going to keep farming, right? We're scaling to that late game. Constantly using my third ability as an auto attack reset. So broken. Clean up our red buff. Our top side jungle is up as well. And again, this is something I say in all my jungle videos. A lot of you guys in lower elos stop farming your jungle in the mid game. And you just walk around looking for plays. It's not the way to play jungle in Wild Rift. You want to be farming your jungle as much as you can. You get way too much gold. Like me clearing these three camps will give me more than a kill. Okay, maybe we can look for something. Are you trade one for one? They're all very low. Okay, you see third ability in. I can now go in. Focus down the Ezreal. Now we can also get the Vi. And this is one master he's best at cleaning up these fights. Perfect. So you got play with a tempo, right? I I I. I took the wolves and instead of clearing the other two camps, which is the like usual correct play, there was a fight mid, so I rotated, right? So definitely don't like instigate and look for fights, farm your jungle, but play with a tempo. If there's a fight happening near you, of course, you're going to show up, right? Oh, maybe Seraphine? Nope, she did not walk in. And now we have enough gold for our death dance. I really want to farm my topside jungle, but I guess I'm not going to get a chance this game because I'm just going to have to run to the dragon. We definitely need to get the dragons quickly if we want to get a third dragon this game because it took us so long to take the first one, right? And I'm going to start building towards my Woodsons. The enemies actually have quite a bit of magic damage because they have Seraphine and Ezreal. Ezreal does a lot of magic damage. I don't want to walk in here by myself. I need Garen to walk up. Hello, Garen. Thank you, Garen. Oh, he actually just used his third ability in. We can chase him down. Big mistake from the Ezreal, and now we can go on the cleanup mission. I'm gonna go immediately for the Seraphine, actually. She exhausts me, but not much she can do. Use my Quicksilver, and I can chase Riven down too. Oh, my damage is so insane with the auto attack resets. Using my second ability to block a lot of damage there. And with Death Dance, it all synergizes so well. We can get the Vi as well now. Perfect. And now we'll clean up the Dragon. We are so fed this game. And I'm pretty sure we can run to Baron as well. The enemies are now just spawning, but Vice lasts 20 seconds. So by the time they get there, it's going to be pretty low. And Master Yi does Dragon very, very, very fast. So this game actually got um, Witchen's fourth item because they just have, they're so heavy AD, right? But I would recommend you usually get Witchen's earlier if the enemies have more magic damage. Their only magic damage is Ezreal and Seraphine. And Ezreal will only now start building AP items, right? So only now will he start to do... Um, even more magic damage with his second and third ability. We're going to clean up our jungle. Build towards our Woodsend. Again, even with Baron, you do want to be farming until my team is ready to start pushing heavily. Uh, I do want to get red buff. So here's the plan. I'm going to go base. Get my Woodsend. Get my red buff. Push. Even though I am wasting a bit of our Baron, I am playing around my power spikes, which is super important. Okay, and finally, I think we're going to go Guardian Angel. We don't have a lot of HP. It's not great. Oh, Garen actually just entered, which is not good because now we're wasting our last minute of the Baron, right? Um, ooh, then you plant. Okay, Vi is actually just going in on Zeri. Maybe I can save her. Can I ult? Ooh, if I ulted earlier, I definitely would have saved her. Brand is actually going to take that kill. I'm going to immediately go into her jungle now to see if I can take any camps. Deny her some gold. And now I think I'm going to just push bot and try to get the turret. Ezreal is mid. I don't have my ulti up, which is bad. Master Yi is very ultimate dependent. 
Okay, only Seraphine is bought. The rest of them are mid and top lane, so I should be able to get this turret pretty freely. And my team's actually winning the mid fight, which is good. I should be able to get this uh, turret too. Even if Riven comes at this point, I don't think they can fight me. I'm way too strong, if, and my ulti's coming up in a bit. Sidestep her ulti. Was that aimed at me or aimed at the wave? Okay, clean. Get the minions. Or get the wolves, I mean. Again, you want to be denying the enemy jungler farm wherever you can, right? So I'm just going to walk into her jungle and steal all her jungle camps. Red buff is up. Perfect. If you try to fight me, again, I'm way too strong. But Viso's bot lane, they're chasing down Ari and they will pick her up. It's not great. But now I'll take a red buff and now kind of want to look for a play mid. If they walk up. Okay, maybe Seraphine here. Okay, now we can go in. We exhausted right away, but we're just doing way too much damage and we're way too tanky. Using our resets. Okay, I think that will be it because we can't fight against the Nexus. Thank you, Garen, for blocking. They dropped everything on us and we're able to just get out. We're just so tanky and we do so much damage. We're so good in the early game, so good in the late game. 10-0 and 10. This champion is beyond busted, man. And we're not able to find the Riven here, which is fine. We're just going to take one more camp and then base for our full build. Finish up the Guardian Angels. And at this point, Baron is spawning. Third Dragon is spawning too. I just want to play the correct macro game, right? I don't, I don't need to force anything. I'm going to wait for my red buff. And then just get Third Dragon. I think that's the play. It's spawning in around 30 seconds. Again, I keep practicing, even now where it, like, it doesn't really matter. I keep practicing the third ability reset because I'm not used to it. I'm not used to Master Yi having a reset on his third ability. Maybe I can pick someone off if they just run into me here toward the dragon. Again, before the objectives, it's very, very important to control the area with vision and deny enemy vision, right? Their blue buff is up, so I'm actually going to steal that. Vi's in the other side of the map. She's been avoiding me this entire game. So we want to control this area so they have to walk into us. Even though my team is barren for some reason. Oh, could be a fight. Nope. It seems like they're not going to be contesting the dragon. They're just hovering around barren. Which again, we're controlling the barren area too. So they're not really sure where we're at. So we'll take the dragon and that's soul. And now we're going to make our way towards the barren. And maybe force something there. Ideally, we don't want to do a 50-50. We want to look for a pick. Ari misses the charm, unfortunately. So I'm gonna start the dra the Baron because I do it super quickly. However, I don't wanna risk a 50-50, right? So if the if a Vi shows up, we need to like fight them instead. Okay, it's only Ezreal who's actually getting one shot. Okay, I can just finish it. Vi is not ready to smite. Perfect. Yeah, Master Yi does these objectives so quickly. Vi is actually bot lane. I mean, I know they can't fight us, but they're just kind of giving up, making it worse for themselves. Like, they have to do something desperate. Okay, we can go in on this. We'll take the red buff. And we're just gonna chase down Akshan. Chase down the Seraphine. Chase down the Ezreal. Chase down the Riven. And that's the quadra kill for the young Master Yi. And now we'll end the game with Baron. That was insane. And that's exactly why Master Yi is so broken in the late game, right? That's what you play Master Yi for. But now they've buffed his early game so much. Now it's so easy to get to that broken late game. So before you guys go, let's take a look at the damage and the rune effectiveness as well. We actually performed better than 100% of Master Yi's this game. It was a pretty clean game, to be honest, especially as my first game getting used to the auto attack reset on his third ability. 38,000 damage, 45% of my team's damage. Max attacks 105 times on lethal tempo. What? How broken is that? If you enjoyed this game, leave a like and subscribe for more Wild Rift content.